Out of the bellicose foretime, thundering head-on collisions of cloud and rock in an upthrust crevasse and avalanche troll country, deadly to breathers. It whelms into our picture below the melt line, where tarns lie fraw under frowning cirques, goat bell, windbreaker, fishing rod, miner's lamp country, already at ease with the mean and gestures that become its kindness. In streams, still anonymous, still jumpable, flows as it should through any declining country in probing spirals. Soon of a size to be named and the cause of dirty infighting among rival agencies, down a steep stair, penstock and turbine country, it plunges Ramstam to foam through a wriggling gorge incised in softer strata, hemmed between crags that nauntle heaven, robber baron, tow rope, portageway country, nightmare of merchants. Disemboguing from foothills, now in hushed meanders, now in riffling braids, it vaunts across a senile plain, well-entered, chateau and cider press country. Its regal progress gallanted for a while by quibbling poplars, then by chimneys, led off to cool and launder retort, steam hammer, gasometer country, it changes color. Polluted, bridged by girders, banked by concrete, now it bisects a polyglot metropolis. Ticker tape, taxi, brothel, footlights country, a la mode always. Broadening or burrowing to the moon's phases, turbid with pulverized waste mantle, on through flatter, duller, hotter, cotton gin country, it scours, approaching the tidal mark where it puts off majesty, disintegrates, and through swamps of a delta, punting pole, fouling peace, oyster tongs country, wearies to its final act of surrender, effacement, atonement, in a huge amorphous aggregate no cuddled attractive child ever dreams of, non-country as a spherical dewdrop of life. Unlovely monsters, our tales believe, can be translated to, even as water, the selfless mother of all especials. <laughs>